Hi there, this is Mark and I am downtown in San Francisco. My usual Tuesday stop, teaching yoga for an office. We had a nice practice on this sunny roof and it's now time for me to share the reading from the Golden Present Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda. And this is for September 26. The topic is God probably purposefully created a boy like that. This is a question and answer. I understand that we are not to hate Hitler, but are we to love him? Wow. Swami Satchidananda says, certainly he is also a child of God. The same God whom you love created him too. He was a naughty brother, that's all. He was also your own brother. He came into the same family. If your own brother became violent, what would you do? Would you hate him? You would love him, but you would correct him. You would stop him from doing the wrong things, but you would not hate him. By hating such people, what do you gain? You are hating yourself then. Hating is not the answer. It doesn't take you anywhere. If you still want to hate someone, hate the one who created you and him. Yes. That's what I tell those people who really want to hate Hitler. It's your own God whom you love, whom you say is merciful, that created him. Why should that God create such a fellow? It's the mistake of God then. Hate him. Destroy all his places. Don't build any temples for him, synagogues for him. But if you love, but if you love your God, then accept that God probably created a boy like that purposely probably to teach us a lesson. By hating, we don't accomplish anything. Whoa, okay. I mean, it's interesting for this to come about uh, as we're celebrating the Jewish New Year. And, you know, we think about when we are hating someone, maybe it's this example of Hitler to think of the most hateful person in history that and not everyone but many many people feel that he was a wicked um, and pretty evil person more a little bit more than just a naughty brother I think he was a, a pretty cruel but you know I th always like to think about even someone like Hitler you know at some point as a little infant also had that innocence and it was maybe from karma past lives that started to develop maybe from current life situations of Hitler as well that it that this scenario was made possible but it's an interesting thing to see how it's just an example of human potential you know he is he was a human being like all of us, and just the seeds of discrimination, of selfishness, all of that really grew so strong and intensely. And then this, these seeds of, of dismissing humanity in a way that was only self-centered on you know, his own egoistic uh, mission of what he felt was right became became so arrogantly expressed because he felt this was what was right so to see something that's able to get so out of uh, out of whack you know and then we can look at other things in history and in life and in current times where we feel someone is acting out and is it best to hate that person or it's interesting how Swami Satchidananda is offering that we hate the creator of that person because that person is just being themselves, for better or for worse but to, to recognize that some thing, some force allow this person to be amongst us allow this possibility to be amongst us is you know you can hate in that direction but how I look at it I, you know, someone once said, 
if we would have walked in their same shoes from the beginning of their life and been brought in with the same karma, who's to say we wouldn't have done the same things? Now that might be more controversial than we want to talk about, but it's hard to know why someone makes the certain choices they do and someone might be looking at your life wondering why you made the choices you make and it may even be that we are unconsciously harming other people based on the choices we're making. We may not even know the impact that our life causes on others. We may be so self-focused and centered in on how we're trying to bring peace and happiness to ourselves. So it's really a practice of what I see in the, the yogic principles of ahimsa. How can we be conscious of not bringing harm to others? And maybe, again, we're not even aware. I'm not aware of where that might be unfolding. So I try to focus it in the areas where I know I can put some of that energy towards no harm and then continue from there with the other practices within the yamas and the niyamas. These are the precepts of yoga principles, not lying, not stealing, conserving energy, not being greedy, being mindful of how I treat myself and others. There's a whole practice within the yogic principles about all this. So simply by doing my best to observe those, I feel that I can be as conscious of myself um, and conscientious of myself and my actions out in the world as I can, knowing that we are never are fully aware how much we're impacting other people by the things we buy, by the things we eat. So the main thing here is, I like that he mentioned, you know, if you are hating other people, that we are hating ourselves because this is a collective experience and we all are created of the same elements. But it takes some work then to figure out how do we move beyond that. So whatever that means to you, I inspire you to think about that and let that move through you. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you tomorrow.